Welcome to the world's most unusual pets. Get ready to be amazed as we introduce you to some seriously weird, furry, and not so furry friends. No golden retrievers or guinea pigs in this video. These are some experimental pets. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into this fascinating world of unusual animal companions as we go from the prickly little dude to the cutest thing in the desert and introduce you to the 20 weirdest pets in the world. Number 20, hedgehog. Hedgehogs as pets? I know what you're thinking. Why would anyone want to own a tiny, spiky, nocturnal creature? But the truth is, these little guys are rising in popularity as pets. However, before you rush out to get one, you should know that hedgehogs are not for everyone. They love to play and run on their wheel, which can make a lot of noise at night. And if they're nervous or uncomfortable, they may ball up and extend their quills, making it hard to handle them without ending up like a pin cushion. So if you're a light sleeper or have a fear of needles, you may want to think twice before adopting one of these weird pets. These adorable creatures have around 5,000 to 7,000 spines on their back and can extend them out as a form of self-defense when feeling threatened. Did you know that hedgehogs are lactose intolerant? So don't even think about giving them a saucer of milk, okay? One of the most famous hedgehogs in the world is of course, Sonic. He may be blue and speedy, but he's still a hedgehog at heart. And I don't think he wants to be anyone's pet. He's busy saving the world. But if you're up for the challenge, hedgehogs can make loving and entertaining pets that will steal your heart, but hopefully not prick it. Time for the rare topic. It's not every day that you see a kid walking their pet hyena down the street, but that's exactly what one young boy in Africa is doing in this viral video. It looked like a normal dog until someone got close to it. The hyena, which is normally known for its aggressive behavior, seems surprisingly calm and even affectionate towards its owner. While it might seem like an unconventional choice for a pet, some people have been known to keep hyenas as pets in certain parts of Africa. However, it's important to note that hyenas are wild animals and can be dangerous if not properly trained and cared for. As for the boy in the video, it's clear that he has a unique bond with his furry friend. One thing's for sure, walking a hyena on a leash is definitely not your average afternoon activity. Would you rather have a hyena than a pet dog? And how much do you think you'd spend on chew toys? <laughs> As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic. And let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 19, pot-bellied pig. Have you ever considered the pot-bellied pig? That's right, these portly porkers are becoming more and more popular as pets. They may not be as cuddly as a puppy or as independent as a cat, but they are unique. And who doesn't want to stand out in a crowd? Pot-bellied pigs can weigh anywhere from 100 to 300 pounds, so you might want to think twice before letting them sleep in your bed with you. But they are smart, social animals that can be trained to do tricks and even use a litter box. However, owning a pot-bellied pig is not for the faint of heart. They require a lot of attention, care, and space. And don't forget about their voracious appetite. You'll need to be prepared to spend a pretty penny on their food bill. But hey, at least they aren't fussy eaters. Number 18, Wallaroo. Welcome to the land of Wallaroos, where hopping around and pouch life is a thing. Wallaroos are Australian marsupials that make for a bizarre pet in the United States. Not many people can say that they have a Wallaroo in their backyard. Unfortunately, owning a Wallaroo is a tough gig due to their constant jumping, property damage, and their dislike of unnatural surroundings. If you're looking for a new pet, a Wallaroo might not be the best option. <laughs> in fact, most states in the US have banned the ownership of Wallaroos, and with good reason. These active jumpers are difficult to care for and can hurt themselves among human surroundings. Plus, they can't stand being around cats due to the risk of contracting toxoplasmosis from their feces. Yuck. On the bright side, if you're up for the challenge and want a pet that is exotic, strange, and will definitely raise some eyebrows, then a Wallaroo might be for you. Just make sure you have a lot of space for them to jump around and have plenty of cat-free zones. And don't forget to reinforce your property because those powerful hind legs can do a lot of damage. Number 17, Chanterelle Fennec. If you're in the market for a new pet and want something a little off the beaten path, have you considered a fennec fox? These pint-sized pups with their adorable oversized ears might just be the thing to brighten up your life. Plus, they'll make your neighbors green with envy as they gaze upon your unique and exotic pet. But before you run out and get one, there are a few things you should know. 
First off, these little guys are desert animals. So if you're living in a cold, rainy, or otherwise non-desert climate, you'll have to create a specialized habitat for your furry friend. Think of it as a mini oasis in your living room. Also, despite their playful and dog-like demeanor, fennec foxes are still wild animals at heart. So be prepared for some unexpected surprises, like chewed up shoes and a distinct odor that's less than pleasant. But hey, who needs a clean, odor-free home when you've got a fennec fox? <laughs> They're basically the equivalent of a furry, desert-based comedian. You'll never run out of entertainment watching them chase their tail or pounce on toys. Plus, their oversized ears make them look like they're always eavesdropping on your conversations, which can make for some hilarious and awkward moments. So if you're feeling adventurous and want to add a little wild to your life, consider a fennec fox as your new pet. Just remember, they may be small, but they're full of surprises. Number 16. Southern Tamandua have you ever dreamed of having a tiny, furry anteater as a pet? If so, the Tamandua might be the perfect companion for you. But before you rush out to get one, there are a few things you should know. First off, these critters are insectivores, which means they eat a lot of bugs. So if you're squeamish around creepy crawlies, the Tamandua might not be the right pet for you. They also have very long, sticky tongues that they use to slurp up their prey, which can be both fascinating and gross at the same time. But perhaps the most peculiar thing about the Tamandua is the fact that it loves to climb. And we're not talking about just scaling a few trees here and there. No, the Tamandua is a true climbing master. With its sharp claws and prehensile tail, it can scale trees, walls, and even ceilings with ease. Just imagine waking up in the middle of the night to find your Tamandua scaling the walls like a tiny furry Spider-Man. Of course, owning a Tamandua is not for everyone. They require a lot of space to climb and explore, and they can be difficult to care for. But if you're up for the challenge, the Tamandua just might be the perfect exotic pet for you. Just make sure you have plenty of bug spray on hand. Number 15. Capybara Move over, rabbits and guinea pigs. There's a new rodent pet in town, the capybara. These massive rodents make great pets as long as you have a huge backyard and a swimming pool. That's right, these guys love the water so much, you'll need to build them a custom pool. Complete with a little slide for extra fun, add up to 170 pounds, capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. But don't worry, they're also known for their gentle and friendly nature, so you won't have to worry about them nibbling on your toes in the middle of the night. In fact, they're so friendly, you might just find them snuggling up with you on the couch. Just make sure you have enough space for them to roam because these guys love to explore. And don't forget the water. A capybara without water is like a cat without a monocle and a smoking jacket. It's just not right. Plus, their little webbed feet are so cute when they're paddling around. Number 14. Piranha do you ever feel like your life is missing a little bit of danger and drama? Have you ever wanted to live on the edge, wondering if you'll make it out alive? Look no further than the piranha, the fish with a bite as big as its reputation, weighing in at only a few ounces. The piranha may seem small, but don't let that fool you, they can pack a serious punch. These fish have razor-sharp teeth that can chomp through flesh and bone. They may seem like the perfect pets for those who love the thrill of danger, but we advise caution. Unless you're an experienced aquarist, this fish may be too much to handle. If you're up for the challenge, you'll need a tank that is at least 30 gallons with a strong filtration system. Be prepared to feed them a lot. They're not called cannibal fish for nothing. Number 13, boa constrictor snake. Maybe you're looking for a unique pet to surprise and terrify your friends. Look no further than the boa constrictor. Sure, they may not be as fluffy and cute as your typical furry friend, but they have a certain charm that only a snake can provide. Of course, taking care of a boa constrictor is no easy feat. You can't just toss them a ball and call it a day. No, these snakes require a specific environment to thrive, and if you mess up, they may mistake you for dinner. But fear not, aspiring snake owners. With the right knowledge and preparation, you can keep a boa constrictor as a pet without any trouble. Just make sure you have a big enough enclosure, think at least six feet long, a heat source, and a steady supply of rodents to feed them. Plus, having a boa constrictor as a pet will make you the envy of all your friends. They'll be slithering with jealousy when they see you strolling around town with your scaly companion. Just don't be surprised if they start avoiding you like the plague. <laughs> hey, at least you have your trusty boa constrictor to keep you company. Number 12, Crocodile. Why not upgrade to something even more exotic, like a crocodile? Just imagine walking down the street with this giant reptile on a leash, turning heads and making jaws drop, literally. But wait, before you rush off to the nearest swamp to find your new scaly companion, there are a few things you should know. First off, crocodiles require a lot of space to move around, so you might have to convert your living room into a swamp. 
Also, forget about playing fetch with your pet. Instead, you'll be playing run for your life when they get hungry. Sounds fun. <laughs> so seriously, crocodiles as pets? Why not just throw caution to the wind and adopt a live grenade as a household accessory? Sure, they might look cool and impressive, but that's until they decide to turn you into a tasty snack. Plus, have you ever even tried to walk a crocodile on a leash? Trust me, not as cute as it sounds. And let's not even get started on the challenges of finding a pet sitter willing to take care of your 10-foot-long, sharp-toothed reptilian terror while you're away on vacation. But hey, owning a crocodile comes with its perks, like having a personal bodyguard that can take care of unwanted visitors. And if you're into fashion, crocodile skin accessories will always be in style, but keep in mind it might not sit well with the animal rights activists. Number 11, Chestnut Spotted Jeanette. How about a Jeanette? These cute creatures might catch your eye with their gorgeous fur patterns, but beware, they're not exactly the affectionate and cuddly type. In fact, they're quite solitary and prefer to keep their distance from humans, but don't worry, they might bond a little with their owners. Just don't expect them to be your new BFF. If you're still considering a Jeanette as a pet, be prepared for a challenge. You'll need a large and secure enclosure with trees and climbing structures for your little buddy. And don't forget, they're nocturnal creatures, so they'll be active at night while you're trying to sleep. But wait, there's more. Finding a vet who can take care of a Jeanette is like finding a needle in a haystack. So good luck with that. So are Jeanettes worth it as pets? That's up for you to decide. Just remember, if you're looking for a pet to snuggle with, a Jeanette might not be the best choice. But if you want an exotic challenge, be my guest. Number 10, Bush Baby. How about an exotic pet that will make your friends and family question your sanity? Look no further than the Bush Baby, also known as the Galago. These tiny creatures are as cute as they are bizarre, with giant eyes and fuzzy ears that make them look like they're straight out of a cartoon. But before you run out and adopt one of these little adorable critters, there are a few things you should know. For starters, Bush Babies are nocturnal animals, which means they'll be up all night partying while you're trying to catch some Zs. And while they may be small, they require a lot of space to move around, so you'll need to clear out an entire room just for them. Plus, if you thought your cat was destructive, <laughs> wait until you meet a bush baby. These little guys love to chew on everything in sight, including your favorite pair of shoes and that expensive piece of furniture you just bought. All jokes aside, the decision to keep a bush baby as a pet should not be taken lightly. They require a lot of specialized care and attention, and even then, they may not thrive in captivity. So if you're still itching for an exotic pet, may we suggest a goldfish or a houseplant? They're much less likely to keep you up all night or chew up your shoes. They sure are creepy looking though, and I heard you better like and subscribe right away, otherwise they'll be staring in through your windows at night. Number 9. Green Iguana Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the latest in exotic pets, the green iguana. These bright green creatures make for a unique housemate. But beware, not every single state in the US is ready for the wild ride of having an iguana as a pet. The green iguana can grow up to six feet long and weigh over 11 pounds, making them one of the largest lizards in the world. Not only that, but they have a tail that can be almost as long as their body. Imagine having a roommate that's bigger than you and can whip you with their tail. But don't let their size fool you, they can be quite docile with the right care and attention. Green iguanas are herbivores, which means they'll be quite happy munching on some collard greens or kale with a side of carrot sticks, and they love to bask in the sun, so make sure to give them some UVB lights to soak up the rays. However, before you start dreaming of sharing your home with a giant green buddy, make sure you check your local laws. Some states like New York City and Hawaii prohibit them, while others require special permits. And let's be honest, do you really want to be that person walking their six-foot-long lizard down the street on a leash? It's not exactly the most subtle of pets. Number 8. Capuchin Monkeys Ah, the adorable and mischievous capuchin monkey. You've seen them in movies and TV shows and Maybe you've even dreamed of having one as a pet. But before you rush off to adopt a capuchin, there are a few things you should know. First off, these little guys need a lot of space to run and play. We're talking about an area that's at least as big as your living room, if not larger. And don't forget that they need the company of other capuchins, so you'll need to adopt at least two. Capuchins are also incredibly smart, which means they can get into all sorts of trouble if they're not properly supervised. They'll raid your kitchen cabinets, climb your curtains, and chew on everything they can get their tiny capuchin hands on. But perhaps the biggest issue with capuchins as pets is their aggression. These monkeys are used to living in large social groups, and they can become very very territorial and aggressive if they feel threatened. So unless you're prepared to deal with the occasional bite or scratch, it's best to admire these little guys from afar. In short, capuchins might be cute and entertaining, but they're just not cut out for life as a pet. Stick with a dog or a cat and leave the monkey business to the professionals. 
Number seven, skunk. Are you tired of boring old pets like cats and <laughs> what were they? Oh, yes, dogs. Do you want something a little more fragrant? Well, have you considered getting a pet skunk? That's right, you can now have your very own stinky companion to cuddle up with on those lonely nights. Now, before you start worrying about the smell, it's important to note that most pet skunks have their scent glands removed, so while they may look like the little stinkers that we all know and love, they won't be able to spray you with that signature odor. But even without their scent glands, skunks can still make for some pretty interesting pets. They're intelligent and playful, and they can even be trained to do tricks. Just be sure to keep them indoors or under close supervision when outside, as they're not exactly known for their street smarts. Of course, if you're looking for a low-maintenance pet, a skunk may not be the best choice. They require a lot of attention and specialized care, and they can be quite demanding when it comes to playtime. But if you're up for the challenge, a pet skunk just might be the perfect addition to your weird and wonderful household. Number six, sugar glider. If a skunk isn't for you, do you want something that'll really make your friends and family do a double take? <laughs> look no further than the sugar glider. These little guys may look like tiny squirrels with wings, but they're actually marsupials that are native to Australia and Indonesia. And while they may seem like the perfect addition to your menagerie of odd pets, there are some things you need to know before bringing one home. First off, sugar gliders require a lot of attention and specialized care. They're social creatures that need plenty of interaction with their owners, and they have very specific dietary needs. Plus, they're nocturnal, so you'll need to be prepared for some late-night bonding sessions. But if you're up for the challenge, a sugar glider can make for a truly unique and rewarding pet. They're cute, cuddly, and they have the ability to glide through the air like a tiny superhero. So if you're ready to take on the responsibility of caring for one of these little guys, go ahead and add a sugar glider to your family. Your friends may think you're a little nuts, but you'll know that you've got the coolest pet on the block. Number five, stick insect. Alternatively, maybe you're looking for something that can truly blend in with your decor. Look no further than stick insects. These bizarre pets may look like a twig or leaf, but they're actually among the most popular insects kept as pets. Stick insects are the perfect pet for those who want to minimize their workload. Not only can they be left alone for a week without any care, but they also don't require daily maintenance. Plus, they can be very tame and even sit on your hand. Just be careful not to mistake them for a stick or leaf and accidentally toss them outside. With over 2,500 species of stick and leaf insects, the Indian stick insect is the most commonly kept as pets. These insects require the utmost care when handling, but with the right setup, they can thrive in captivity. Just make sure to mimic their natural conditions because nobody wants a sad, dried up stick insect. Number four, flying squirrel. A sugar glider is one thing, but have you ever seen a squirrel that can fly? We're talking about the real deal, flying squirrels. These little creatures can glide through the air and make for an interesting pet option for those who want something unique. However, don't be fooled by their cute and fluffy appearance. Flying squirrels require proper care and attention as they are nocturnal creatures with high energy levels. If you're not up for nightly acrobatic sessions, maybe a goldfish is a better choice. While it's tempting to want to snuggle with these furry friends all day, it's important to remember they're wild animals at heart. Make sure to check with your local laws to ensure you're not breaking any rules. The last thing you want is to become a real life outlaw, but with a flying squirrel as your sidekick. Overall, flying squirrels can make great pets if you're up for the challenge. Just remember, they're not superheroes. They're just squirrels with a really cool trick up their sleeves. Number three, possums. Possums, they're not just roadkill anymore. These peculiar creatures have been a subject of debate for years. Are they cute or creepy? Can they be tamed or are they better off left alone? If you're considering adopting a possum as a pet, as usual, there are a few things you should know. First of all, let's talk about looks. Some people find possums adorable with their big ears and fluffy tails. Others think they're as ugly as sin with beady little eyes and a permanent scowl on their faces. But one thing is for sure, if you're looking for a unique pet that's sure to turn heads, a possum is a great choice. Of course, possums aren't exactly low maintenance pets. They require a lot of care and attention and can be a bit messy. And don't forget about their infamous playing possum routine. <laughs> You'll need nerves of steel to deal with that. So, should you get a possum as a pet? The answer depends on your personality, lifestyle, and level of dedication. Just make sure you have plenty of trash cans for them to dig through. Number two, hyacinth macaw. A hyacinth macaw is like a feathered elephant in the room. Huge and impressive, 
but also a little bit intimidating. This magnificent bird is the largest of all parrots, making it a true giant in the avian world. And while it might be tempting to want one of these majestic creatures as a pet, it's important to remember that they are rare and threatened as a species that require an incredible amount of care and attention. For starters, a hyacinth macaw needs a lot of space. We're talking about a bird that is nearly as big as a bald eagle, so you'll need a pretty big cage to accommodate it. And let's not forget about the financial burden. These birds are expensive to buy and even more expensive to care for. You'll need to invest in high quality food, toys, and veterinary care. And you'll need to be prepared to spend a lot of time with your feathered friend. But perhaps the biggest challenge of owning a hyacinth macaw is their personality. These birds are intelligent, sensitive, and demanding. They require lots of attention and socialization, and they can become aggressive if they feel neglected or mistreated. So while a hyacinth macaw may be a beautiful and impressive bird, it's not a pet for the faint of heart or wallet. Number one, chinchilla. When it comes to weird pets, chinchillas are high on the list. They may not be as famous as dogs or cats, but these soft and fluffy rodents have captured the hearts of many. With their huge anime-like eyes and adorable little noses, chinchillas are irresistible. But before you rush out to get one, you should know that these little guys have some unique requirements. Chinchillas are native to the Andes Mountains of South America, so they're well-equipped to handle the cold. They have incredibly dense fur that keeps them warm and cozy even in the coldest weather, but that fur can also be their downfall if they get too hot. So if you live in a warm climate, you may need to invest in air conditioning for your furry friend. In addition to temperature control, chinchillas also need plenty of room to exercise. They have powerful back legs and love to jump and play, so a small cage just won't cut it. And if you think you can just let your chinchilla loose in the house to run around, think again. These little guys love to chew, and they'll gnaw on anything they can get their teeth on, including your furniture, wires, and even your walls. So if you're up for the challenge, a chinchilla can be a wonderful pet. Just be prepared to provide plenty of space, attention, and a steady supply of chew toys. And who knows, maybe you'll even discover a new appreciation for the beauty of a rodent kind. Well, thanks for joining us on this wild ride. We've explored some truly bizarre creatures that people have taken into their homes. Do you have a weird or unusual pet? Tell us about it in the comments below. And which pet on this list do you think was the weirdest? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now.